All right, everybody, I hope you came hungry today because we're gonna be touring some of the best restaurants in the Grand Rapids area. Hi everyone, my name is Abby Cribs. I am a local real estate agent on the May Group Realtors team at Remax of Grand Rapids and welcome to Living in Grand Rapids. If you're looking for a great spot to take your partner out, go out with friends or even treat yourself, we're gonna start over here in Cherry Hill at Grove. This is another excellent restaurant brought to us by the Essence Restaurant Group. They also own Bistro Bella Vita downtown, Lucy's in Creston, and they also own Greenwell, which I'm standing right outside of. Um, Grove, it was originally one of the first farm to table restaurants in Grand Rapids. So they focus on bringing all natural local ingredients from, again, family farms and sustainable providers in the area. Their menu changes with the seasons and focuses on selections that follow the Midwest farming seasons for the absolute freshest cuisine possible. Uh, one of my favorites on this menu is the potato crusted fish, but you really can't go wrong here. So check it out, grab one of their alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverages and enjoy the new ambiance that they just uh, renovated in the space. We're gonna stick in the East Hills neighborhood and pop over to a newer restaurant called Black Napkin. This is a, again, a newer, delicious, and super affordable takeout spot in the Grand Rapids area. They've got smash burgers, fried chicken sandwiches, french fries, and house-made sodas. This is another local restaurant that focuses on bringing the most fresh local ingredients to the table. The fries are also a highlight in this restaurant since they can be rolled in what they call a custy dust. Uh, they've got multiple different options for you to spice up your fries like kimchi and parmesan, smoked sereno chili and cheddar cheese and salt and red wine vinegar. So definitely something unique to try in the area. Definitely check them out. Again, it's a takeout spot, so not a lot of room to eat in there unless you're doing a quick lunch, but a great spot to order takeout and take the food home. Next up on our tour of Grand Rapids restaurants, we're going to head downtown to the top of the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel to visit Madrid. This is one of my favorite local restaurants, not only for the amazing city views that you get from the top of the Amway, but the very explorative menu and the great service. I've always had an amazing experience there. Madrid has been voted best date night restaurant and best service in the city since it's been open. So definitely has the great reviews of the city. Outside of their normal dining space, they have two floors of event space perfect for your next gathering, including a private balcony overlooking the Grand River with a tasting view curated by their chef for you guys that evening. A must try on their menu is gonna be the paella de langosta, which is lobster. And they've got a very unique dessert called Arbol de Carmelo, which is stunning, so definitely try that. We're gonna head west now onto Bridge Street to visit another local favorite called Butcher's Union. They've got an expansive whiskey menu and meat-focused menu. Outside of the amazing whiskey and meat options, they've got some very veggie-focused uh, meals and seafood-focused meals as well, so there's really options for anyone here. This is a restaurant that does not take reservations and definitely fills up quickly, so I'd suggest getting there at opening to secure your spot. I know I've had to fight for a table once or twice here. A must try on the menu is their smoked old fashioned, which I love, and the crispy Brussels sprouts with bacon. So again, if you're over on the west side and looking for a great spot to eat, this is definitely one to check out. All right, we're gonna head out east to Ada, nearby Grand Rapids here to check out the newest addition to the community called Mirth. Mirth is being led by Chef Paul Berglund, a chef who won the best in the Midwest. Uh, this restaurant is set to highlight the best West Michigan seasons have to offer through delicious wood-fired pizzas and freshly made pastas. So think a lot of local ingredients making up the best Italian food. A must try on this menu is the spicy cheese pizza. And again, it's got an amazing modern contemporary ambiance, so a great spot to enjoy a nice pizza or pasta. Thank you so much for coming on this tour of some of our favorite local restaurants in Grand Rapids. 
I would love to hear a little bit more about what some of your favorite restaurants are in the area and what you think of some of our suggestions here. So let us know in the comments. Uh, we'd also appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, thank you again for joining. My name is Abby Cribs uh, with May Group Realtors. Thanks.